Hi, this is Hannah Jay with realestatesiny.com, and welcome to our monthly statistics segment for housing sales for the month of June. I'm here with Anthony Lichardello, the co-owner of our company. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. You're welcome. I'm doing well, too. I wanted to start out by talking about the sales increase from the past month. May of this year saw a 6% sales increase from the prior month in April, so discuss what this means. Well, we've been doing this for the last few months and we've kind of discussed the numbers have been showing in the leading indicators that things were improving and now this month really highlights the fact that um, the, the market has developed a trend. Um, one of the things that we do look at is year-over-year -year numbers. Um, it, 200 home sales is like a key number since I've been doing the statistics in indicating whether the market is actually improving or getting worse. If you're going under that 200 sales mark, it's really indicative that things are really slowing down. Mm -hmm. um, if you're over that 200 sales mark, it's things are basically picking up. So it's one of the things we do look at. So when you look at these 12 months, one of the things that you do see is 10 out of the last 12 months, we've seen over 200 sales. Mm -hmm. Last That's year, um, last year it was only two out of 12. So it's a big improvement. It's, it's a much bigger improvement. And, you know, the leading indicators like we've seen in the months prior, um, you know, the, the month's inventory numbers continue to decline. Um, inventory is still an issue, but the numbers are really showing a trend of a healthy market. So the next thing that I wanted to ask uh, was about the median home sale price. Mm -hmm. In the month of May, it was 415000 which was a 10% increase from the prior month and 7% from last year. So what's your take on this? It's basically indicative of everything like I just mentioned. There's, there's been a steady improvement. This is quite a jump, though, um, and it's starting to highlight the fact. And one of the things is we didn't quite see it in, in the numbers prior was the percentage of list to sell price. It was kind of flat, which was one of the interesting things in the leading indicators that we saw prior to this month mm -hmm. that weren't quite there. This month, it has taken a leap, uh, a leap, a leap forward. Um, to almost 95%, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, you're at 94.5%. That's, that's a substantial jump uh, as far as the prior month, which was at 93.5%. Uh, it's a full, you know, it's 1% difference. And that's pretty significant. Um, it's, it's definitely showing that buyers are willing to come up to the, coming up, come up higher on what they're, what they're bidding on. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those things, while we didn't see it in the leading indicators prior, we are seeing it this month. And, but the percentage of gains, 415,000 on the median home sale price is only the second time this year that it's gotten to that point. Um, mm -hmm. So when you look at it, uh, September was at 400,000, 400, the median sold price, and then it hasn't been that way, you know, going back to September of, of this year. So it's it's definitely a substantial jump. I mean, the average um, sale price for the month was at $440,000. Um, you know, this is the third straight month that it's gone over 400000 mm -hmm. and it's, it's definitely a big jump. It's um, definitely good news for sellers, right? Well, it's good news for sellers. Here, the interesting part is is how this reflects in the long term. Um, you know, does housing affordability become an issue? Right. Um, you would you you like to see everybody likes to see an improving market, but is it to the point where it's sustainable to where incomes are going to be able to sustain the type mm -hmm. of growth that you you want in housing numbers? We do have to look look at that moving forward. Um, the interest rates are obviously played a role in that. Mm -hmm. um, but it's looking good. Okay, well, it seems fairly stable, um, but I did see that in May of 2012, the average amount of time it took to sell the entire month's inventory, which is all the homes that are listed for that month, was 16.27, so about 16 months last year. 
And now this past month, it was only a little bit over nine months, which is a huge difference. So why, why do you think homes are selling faster? Well, homes are selling faster just based on, first, you have a limited amount of inventory. There's a little bit of a different differentiation in those numbers. Um, Quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. So where the average days on the market right now is 162 days, it's still not the best of circumstances for every home seller who say, oh, well, we're in an improving market. My house should be selling a lot quicker than it is. It, it, we have not seen that really change much. Mm -hmm. um, but I will say this. It, it, it does, the numbers will improve in that area based on what I'm seeing. You know, the month's inventory is down to nine months, um, which is, it's the third time this year that the numbers have gone below you know 10 months and considering it was 16 months just a year ago that is a substantial change yeah it's I huge mean, by any measure i mean it, it's dramatic um one of the things is is that constraints remain um a problem within in the real estate market right now there's limited inventory and little limited choice for people looking to purchase in a lot of areas but um it does indicate in the numbers that the current inventory is up uh, about 90 homes from the prior month. Mm -hmm. So there are some, there are sellers who are now starting to get the idea it is the time to sell again and, and you know, the economic confidence numbers, you know, in the latest report, since mm -hmm. 2008, consumer confidence is at its highest. So really it's showing that people are much more confident in their ability to purchase another home and mm -hmm. you need confidence in the job, especially um, in, in an individual's li living circumstances, to say, okay, it's time to move. Um, and I feel confident that if I do move, I'm going to be able to meet the expenses of that move. Um, so it's the, the consumer confidence, the housing market all seems to be moving in line, that things are improving. And for sellers out there, I think it's, it's, really a good time because the parameters are while they are good now mm -hmm. you know there there are the long-term things that probably will be more prevalent that having a long-term sustained growth you know m all the indicators aren't there quite yet that the, the, this is going to be anything long lived in terms of the type of growth that you see in the last month hopefully you know, it moves along at a pace that's slow but steady, right. and people are better able to make a, a better evaluation of their situation when it comes time to sell. Well, that's what it has been doing, correct? That it's been maybe dipping up and down, but it seems pretty stable. Since I've been reviewing these numbers, one of the things that you do look at is uh, if the trends develop in the market. Um, over the last six years, there is, there's no doubt um, where we saw two months of very good numbers and then they would pull back and it was very, very inconsistent. Some of the tax credit stuff kind of made some market fluctuations and there wasn't any really steady pattern to develop. Um, this is the first sustained um, in all across the board, the first sustained growth rate we've seen in real estate since the crisis broke. So there's definitely a a sure trend that things have improved considerably. Again, the key is is how long that trend can, can continue at this, this rate. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I have some questions about that. Okay. Well, perhaps for another time. This wraps up our statistics segment for this month. Um, trends are going upward, but fairly steady, which is good for the marketplace. Um, so be sure to check back with us next month to get the most recent updates. And thank you for talking with me, Anthony. You're welcome. Look forward to doing it next month. Me too. See you then. Take care now.